We've been talking for weeks about the potential of cryptocurrency. We discussed Bitcoin heading to 225K and we've discussed altcoins that can 1,000X your portfolio. Right now, that may sound like a fantasy, but these coins literally have the potential to totally transform your life forever if you let it. The problem is that many investors in cryptocurrency are new to investing and don't understand the ins and outs of investing as a whole. I can tell you this with surety. During the last bull run, I watched people gain and lose millions of dollars. Most of the people who I watched get filthy rich, turned around and promptly lost all of those gains. They were true rags to riches, back to rag stories. This is the difference between people who are rich and people who get wealthy. People who get rich quickly often lose their money because they don't know how to sustain success. But all who become rich have the ability to become wealthy, but most squander the opportunity. What about you? Are you planning to squander the opportunity to finally achieve financial freedom? Of course not, but no one thinks it will happen to them. Today, we're gonna to be looking at part two of my series, Maximizing Bull Run Profits. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take advantage of a bull run so you do not become a statistic. Let's get it. Hello and welcome to BitBoy Crypto, your one-stop shop for all things related to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. I make videos on this channel almost every day. If you like what you hear or see, then please make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to turn on notifications. If you'd like to take the conversation even further, then please join my Telegram group, The Bit Squad. All right, guys, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to take profits and maximize them in a bull run. We're going to discuss the key obstacles holding you back from profits and how to take profits off the table that you'll be happy with. And a little later in this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the most self-sabotaging mental tricks that new traders play on themselves. So I want you to imagine a scenario for me. Close your eyes and imagine you are looking at your portfolio. Whatever coin you believe in the most, it suddenly pumps, but it doesn't stop. The price goes up 20%, 60%, 100%, 300%, and it just keeps going. You feel the rush of euphoria as adrenaline is pumping through your veins. Your wildest dreams are coming true. What is the first thing you're going to buy with all this money? I want you to picture yourself with whatever it is that would make you feel like you made it. Are you chilling poolside at the new mansion? Is the Lambo salesman handing you the keys to your brand new red Lamborghini? Now, I want you to stop being dumb and hand the keys back because we're not blowing this money, baby. You see, whatever item comes to your mind first when you think about that scenario and you think about the way you will spend your crypto profits, that's a thorn in your flesh. In your mind, that item symbolizes success. But what's worse is that in some way, you imagine this item is the end goal for you. That's the finish line. Whether it's a house, a car, or a vacation, or for some of you guys, just being rich enough to be able to get a girlfriend, it won't make you happy. Do you think that Jeff Bezos or Bill Gates say things like, you know, when I bought my first island, that's when I knew I made it? Of course not. The key to being well off and having wealth is to never have a marker that serves as a checkered line. Millionaires who stay millionaires understand that having financial success means constantly pushing forward and innovating. This is very similar to losing weight. When people have a goal weight, they push forward to that weight. But once they achieve it, many of them fall back into the old habits and often gain back even more weight than they lost in the first place. You have to remember, people build wealth. The word building is an action verb. Building takes hard work and you can't take that for granted. Cryptocurrency has the power to help you lay down the first bricks of your financial foundation. But you have to stop giving away your profits to places like car dealerships and vacation homes. But the top way that people lose out on profits in a bull run is simply they just don't take profits. When you have a coin that pumps 50%, 100% or much higher, you need to pull money off the table. There's a reason that once you sit down at a poker table to play Texas Hold'em, that you aren't allowed to just put chips in your pocket as you go. The casino's poker room is smart enough to know that most likely you're gonna blow all the money at the table. So they put you to a choice. Either continue playing with all of the money or get back up and leave. It's a binary choice. 
But in the game of crypto, it's much more complicated than that because you have the ability to pull chips off here or there. And that is hugely to your advantage and you have to use that. The reason that people lost so much money when the 2017 bull run bubble popped is because they refused to take profits along the way. They thought the money train would never end and the prices would continue to go up forever. But unfortunately, that is not the way that financial markets work. There are ups and downs, but the euphoria of a good run up makes people forget that. The Bitcoin maximalists have a phrase they use that maybe you've heard before. They say one Bitcoin equals one Bitcoin. And while it may seem like the world's most obvious statement, what they're truly implying is that you don't need to worry about the US dollar value in terms of crypto. Because while Bitcoin equals 10K today and 9,800 tomorrow, one Bitcoin will always equal one Bitcoin. But yesterday we talked about whether or not you should spend your Bitcoin. If you wanna check out that video, part one of maximizing bull run profits, you can do that by clicking above. But the short version is, you should only spend Bitcoin or crypto when it makes sense to do so. While all of these Bitcoiners were trying to get people to simply hodl, many people watched their investments go from millions of dollars to down, in some cases, 98% losses. This morning, when you went to Starbucks on your way to church, did you buy your coffee with Bitcoin? When you took your family to Disney World over the summer, did you buy your vacation with Bitcoin? This may surprise you, but I can't pay for my Atlanta Falcon season tickets with Bitcoin. The point here is, is that we're nowhere near mainstream retail adoption. So you need to take profits in USD while you can. All along the way in your crypto journey, people are gonna try to convince you not to sell. But the only way to make profits in crypto is to sell, sell for USD. There will come a point where you have to decide to take profits off the table and convert some of that over to USD. And that's not a bad thing. That's literally the only way you're going to get rich in the next bull run. Who knows, maybe 10 to 15 years from now, we will all be using crypto for every purchase. Then this strategy could change, but we cannot live in a fantasy world that does not yet exist. The real world is here. Cryptocurrency is a great opportunity for you to make money, but it is not a mainstream currency that the average person could solely live on. While we can talk about this until we're blue in the face, until you're sitting at your computer watching your profits skyrocket, you don't understand how hard this is going to be. You won't want to pull money out of crypto. It will run counter to your instincts. Basically, let's say you have 100 WTF tokens. Each WTF token is worth $1 when you buy it originally. Fast forward and let's say the price pumps to $10 each. Now your $100 investment is worth $10,000. You know you should probably pull 20% off the table at this point if you had not taken any profits yet. You're making 20x profits and still have another 8K in WTFs that could continue to rise. But here is the mental trick that will get you absolutely wrecked. Your mind is gonna tell you that the 2K in profit that you could pull out will eventually screw you. And you could make much more money if you just kept that money in your crypto. So in your mind, you're going to think to yourself, well, I still have 80 WTFs. If the price goes to $100 each, I will make 80K. But if I don't take my 20 WTFs off the table, I may get 100K. And this is how we trick ourselves because humans are greedy. There's never enough money to satisfy us. That's why millionaires and billionaires are constantly looking for new investment opportunities. We always want more. But let me remind you of an old adage. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. What that actually means is that what you have is valuable. Gains that have not actually happened yet are just dreams until they become realized. Because while you're playing fantasy millionaire in your head, at some point, WTF is gonna trace back down. You have to remember each coin will peak. It's your job to try to figure out the best possible way to sell at the top. But if you're selling and making profits all along the way, even once it starts going down, you have cashed out good money. The people who took profits along the way during the last bull run are much happier than the people that hodled their way down, in some cases, from seven figures all the way back down to four figures. So let me say this. If you think that a certain amount of money will make you happy, it won't. It certainly can solve some of your problems, but it won't make you happy by itself. 
Learn to be content and realistic with your investments. This means taking profits and being content with making money along the way. Because remember this one thing, if you remember nothing else from this video, no one knows the top or the bottom of the market until after it has already happened. Learn to take profits on the journey and you will crush it. Wait for the top and you'll probably miss it. In the next installment of the series, we're gonna look at the next steps after you've cashed out some of your gains. Now it's your turn. What do you think about taking profits in crypto? Do you have a crazy story about losing tons of money on investments? If so, make sure to share those thoughts with the BitSquad down below in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to smash the like button and hit the subscribe button to become a member of the BitSquad, the fastest growing community in crypto. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Bitboy out.